Hello guys, how are you? I am Noor and today I will explain the very important uh, topic, the view back in SPMBC.NET 6. Uh, uh, Let me go to the Visual Studio. Uh, I have created a project uh, with the .NET 6 version in my previous video. Uh, if you, if you uh, have no knowledge about how we can create the project, then you can just watch uh, the previous uh, video. So it is just a very simple SPMVC application. Let's me run the application. Okay. So it's a very simple normal SPMVC application. Uh, I will go to the home controller and in the home controller uh, it is my home page. No, I will return different kinds of data in the view bag. Basically, we are using the view bag if you want to return data from the controller to the view. We can assign any kind of data to the view bag. Let's suppose if someone comes to the home page of my website, it is the home page, uh, then I will send some kind of information to the home page. Uh, it is the home page of my website that I loaded. Now I will keep the data in a view bag. Let's suppose I want the student name should be uh, Noor. Yes. Uh, as you can see that I have assigned a string type of data to the view bag. In the next line, I will assign the integer type of data to the view bag. Student ID, let's suppose it's uh, 786. And let's suppose uh, view bag uh, total account balance is equal to 585.52. Now you can see that I am assigning string to the view bag, I am assigning the integer data type and I am assigning the decimal data type to the view bag. View bag can handle any kind of data. Now here in the next line, I will also uh, add an object uh, to the view bag. View bag dot student uh, sorry class info class info and here I will assign here the complete object but first I will add a clause here in the models folder I will add here a clause just stop the application add Clause, class info, student class info dot cs. Inside this class, I will just add some properties like public and uh, student ID, public string. Uh, class class room number yes so we have just two uh, uh, attributes properties inside the student class info now I will assign uh, some data to these uh, two attributes inside the home controller and then I will uh, send the data from the index page to the view from the controller. No, I will uh, declare here a variable the student class info and let's suppose student class info dot uh, student id is equal to 
स्टूडेंट क्लास इनफो डॉट क्लास रूम नंबर लेट सपोज इज इक्वल टू टेन नो आई विल असाइन दी स्टूडेंट इनफो टू दी व्यू बैक डॉट स्टूडेंट क्लास इनफो लेट्स मी आल्सो रिप्लेस द नेम ऑफ Class number is in a string. That is why it's showing error. Okay. No, I am assigning the string, the integer, and the decimal values to the view back, and then I uh, declare here the object of the student class info. I set student ID to seven eight six and classroom number to ten, and then I am assigning this student class info object to the you back student class info no i will send these all kinds of view view back data to the index page to the home page of the site from the controller uh, i will tell you that you have to pass no parameter inside the view uh, after returning the view these all kinds of view backs uh, will be available automatically inside the view no go to the view the view is inside the views folder the home folder and it is the view now let's me uh, add here some data no. h h3 and inside uh, inside the h3 the first h3 i will display the view back dot student name student name Uh, in the view you know that if you want to write c sharp code then you have to write the at the red symbol uh, in the next line then sorry we should write like in this way student name is this uh, the second parameter is student id so i will define here the student id and see that i am passing up uh, uh, rendering different kind of view bags here inside these view bag uh, the student id uh, i am passing the student id from the controller uh, just uh, put another line and here i will um, print the total account balance sorry in the view total account balance total account balance right in in the next line control d it will automatically print a new line by pressing control d uh no i will print here the complete student class info object so again i will uh, student id from class info object and it will be the view back to student class info dot the property name is student id right and here i have another attribute for the classroom here i will print the student uh classroom number from class info object okay now let's me run the application i am passing different kind of u bex data to the view and here i am printing the data in the view so run the application in uh, no you are at the home page you can see the student name is noor the student id is 786 and it is the decimal data that i have assigned and the student id from class info object is 786 and student class room number for class info is, is equal to 10 uh, you observe that we can easily pass any kind of information to the view from the controller by using the view back uh, it was the main topic of this video so goodbye this time thank you for watching the video